feel like I haven't filmed a sit down video in like a year. I don't really know what to do with myself. It's quite nice though, because I'm wearing joggers and slippers right now and you have no idea. So I've been on Christmas break from uni for about six months. Okay, it's probably only been like a month and a half, but still, like they told us it was gonna be three weeks and that would be back on the 3rd of January. And it's now the 28th and we still haven't gone back, so. But anyway, point is that in the last like two months, I've accumulated so many new clothes from like Christmas and shopping and also my sister gave me a bunch of her old clothes, which is great because everybody knows that the best part of going to school is picking your outfits. And so I've got like a hundred new outfits to wear and I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna show you all the clothes and accessories and everything that I have got of the last like two months to wear to uni. Yeah. Starting with tops because that just makes sense, right? And so starting out with all the ones that my sister gave me. So she gave me this. It's like a puffy, like pirate vibe kind of situation. Now I don't have the assets to make this top look good, but it's cute so I'm just gonna make it work. I might not actually wear this places, but you know, for like a photo shoot, no one's gonna know. Next is this Bronte Sisters t-shirt, which is like my favorite thing ever because I have actually started like reading classics now and I feel so educated and just so like intellectual. And so this is just like my complete vibe right now. I wear this like every day. Okay, next one's kind of boring. It's literally just a massive plain white orange t-shirt. How go wrong with a good old classic oversized t-shirt. For reference, I am an extra extra small and this is an extra extra large and it is just about oversized enough for my liking. It is also covered in holes from hamster bites and the collar is just torn to shit, so there's that. Next we have this t-shirt. It is just a, another big oversized one, not quite as oversized as the last one. <coughs> and it's just got, oh my god. <laughs> it's just got some, I don't know, boring car words on it that I don't understand. But it's cool, I like it. I actually remember when she bought this and I was like really jealous and I wanted to buy one for myself, but I instead just played the long game and waited for her to get sick of it and then gave it to me. Life hack. I feel like I'm talking really fast in this video. Okay, right. We're gonna talk at a normal pace. That no, I literally can't. And then next is this T-shirt. It says "Hard Talk" on it. I don't know what that means. Apparently, it's from some band or something. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Saying it now so no one can comment it. Yes, I know. Cute is like the only adjective that I know. It is what it is. Let's move on. Okay, so this T-shirt was actually designed and screen printed by my friend Oren, who is like the coolest person that I've ever met in my life. They are the same one who also screen printed this T-shirt and who drew this for me for my 17th birthday and I have kept it all of these years. So I'll put all their links on the screen and in the description and whatever, but it is just this like ringer t-shirt that has the Mothra design thing on it. It's just freaking dope. Mini subsection, I also got a couple of jumpers. So I've got this like cream sweater vest type thing, which I got from Depop, but is originally from Urban Outfitters, I think. Yes, I know that I'm very late to the sweater vest trend, but it was okay. And then last but not least for tops, I got this star jumper. The reason I got this was literally just because I saw this guy wearing it on TikTok. Well, it was like the yellow and green version of this. And I just thought it was so cool. And so I went and bought it and it was like 45 pounds from Amazon, but like worth it because it's like so thick and chunky and I'm pretty sure it's like handmade. The brand is Loud Elephant, but you can get it from like Etsy and eBay and like a bunch of other places. And they have like a million different colors. And so it's like my life goal now to like get this jumper in like all the different colors. It's like really kind of itchy, so you have to wear some under it, but like it's so cute. Okay, so onto bottoms, except actually not because we've got one thing that is um, kind of halfway in between both. Cause I've got this like jumpsuit, which is from Zara, but I got it in a charity shop. This is age 13 to 14, but it fits me. So who even cares? It's got like trousers and then it's got pockets best thing in the world. The back of this is really annoying to close up because you like can't really do it by yourself because it's got like buttons all the way up the back. But like once you've struggled your way into it, it's like really comfy and it looks so cute. When I was out Christmas shopping in Leeds, I got a bit distracted and started shopping for myself and I ended up getting these black corduroy trousers from H&M and these were only like a tenner reduced from literally like 35 pounds or something ridiculous and they were probably that much on sale because no one would ever fit these measurements. Like you would literally have to have the dimensions of a freaking supermodel to fit these because they've got a tiny little waist and then they've got like 27 feet worth of leg. But I got them anyway because they fit my waist and no trousers ever fit my waist. And so I'm just gonna have to cut about a metre off the leg and then we're golden. Okay, the next two are from my sister. So first we've got these like black, like I don't even know how you describe these pants, like cargo pant type vibe. So they've got like belt loops and everything and like an elasticated back of the waist. And then they're quite loose, but they've got like elasticated, um, not wrists foot wrists, ankles. And then they've got like the normal pockets as well as like the weird side of the leg pockets that I don't really know what anyone's supposed to keep in there. And then we've got this other pair that is like actually basically the same exact style just in this like white and beige like tartany 
print and I'm so glad that my sister is sick of these because I've been eyeing these up for about five years. I did temporarily steal them from her for like a few months but then she after them back. Pretty rude, but they're mine now. And these have also got the weird side of the leg pockets. Someone let me know, like, comment suggestions of what I should keep in my side of the leg pockets. Okay, another mini subsection. We've got skirts. So this one is from my sister. I literally borrowed this from her every single time that I stayed at her flat. And now it's mine, so I have no reason to ever go stay with my sister ever again. Just kidding, but I am very happy that I have this skirt now. This is originally from H&M, but it's really old, so I doubt that they still sell it, but... So it's just, like, grey and, like... Actually, what the hell colour is that? It's, like, grey, beige, and red, like... Tartany. It's a bit big so I have to safety pin it, but other than that, this is like the perfect skirt. It literally just goes with everything. As does the last one, which is just this long black, like, midi skirt. Because long skirts are like my thing right now. I don't know why. I just go through phases of like specific items of clothing. And right now, it is like coloured glasses and long skirts. And it's got like buttons all down the front. And this I actually got from Depop, but from Flossy on TikTok, if anyone knows who that is, but she's like my favorite person on TikTok and I feel a bit starstruck every time I wear this. I lied actually, my favorite items of clothing right now are long skirts, sunglasses, and cardigans. So I bought two new cardigans. The first one is this like fake knockoff Burberry type situation. I got this in Benny Dom. Me and my friend Jade literally like just went on a spontaneous trip to Benny Dom in December. Like literally booked it about two days before we left and it was a great time. And so I got this in just like one of those little touristy gift shop type places for like 15 euros. And money well spent because I literally wear this like every single day. And then the other one is from Sainsbury's. This one was 25 pounds which is a bit ridiculous. The only reason I justified spending that much was because I'd like just got paid my student loan. So it went a little bit crazy but anyway this one's kind of similar to the last one. It's just like checkered kind of tartany print. But this one is so thick and so warm and it's just, I just love cardigans. I don't know what it is. I actually realized this morning that I am actually a middle-aged woman because I sat in bed this morning wrapped in this cardigan with a cup of coffee and crocheting while playing Wordle. So, and then I also got a couple of jackets. So the first one is like a short sleeve jacket that my sister gave me. It's just this like, I literally don't even know how to describe this. It's literally just like a short sleeve zip up sweatshirt. I don't know. I just, I just kind of like it. It kind of surprisingly goes with a lot of things. It's kind of awkward because your whole body's warm and your arms are cold, but fashion over function any day. And then last but not least, we have got this Harrington jacket because I just feel like these jackets go with everything because it basically is just like a plain black jacket, but then it also like has a bit of bit of spice, you know? And this was literally on like eight pounds from Depop, so why not? I mean, it does have a hole in the pocket and so I keep like losing my AirPods like in the lining of the jacket, but I mean, for eight pounds, I will happily lose my AirPods. That is not true, actually. I did lose my AirPods yesterday and I literally had like a full on meltdown. Anyway, I found them if anyone was panicking. I also got a couple pairs of shoes. So the first ones my sister gave me, but I don't actually think they were hers. I think it's someone from her works gave them to her and then she gave them to me. No one literally cares. They are these Doc Martens. They are like heel kind of strappy boot type vibe. I do love these, but I have worn them once and they are so thoroughly uncomfortable <laughs> that I don't know if I'll ever wear them again, but I know I said fashion over function, but like these actually make me want to die. It's this bit. It's like the, the metal bit here, like it just stabs into your toe knuckle. Anyway, free Doc Martens, you know what, I'll take it. And then the other pair I got for Christmas and they are my new children. <laughs> they are the white version of my Gucci shoes. I just... And I got these right in my size off of Depop. They were literally the only pair on Depop and they were in my size. Brand new, these would have been literally like 1,100 pounds or something ridiculous like that. I got these for 260 pounds. So I technically did get these for Christmas, but I also did pay for most of them. My parents like put 100 pound towards them as like my main Christmas present and then I paid for the rest. But look how pretty, oh my God. Okay, final section, we are onto accessories. So, oh God. First one, I actually made this. Not to brag. It's this hat that I crocheted. I like to call this my procrastination hat because I literally crocheted this when I should have been doing my uni assessments. But I finished my assessments on time, so you know what? It's fine. But this is it. It's just this orange and black stripey, one of those like that shape hats. I did make it too like tall because I wasn't like following a pattern or anything. But if I like fold up the bottom, then it looks fine. Next I've just got some random bits of jewelry. So, so the first two things I got for Christmas, the first is this Leo necklace. I don't know where it's from, but it's so cute and I literally wear it every single day. And then for my sister for Christmas, if you don't know, my like lucky symbol is ladybirds. And so she got me these little silver ladybird earrings. And then a couple weeks ago, I went to this antique shop in Hebden Bridge and got these earrings 
for literally only like two pounds or something like that and I just love them so much like I kind of designed more perfect earrings and then last few accessories we've got this hair clip that I literally paid like six pounds for or something. I got this at the same time as I got this corduroy trousers as well. I was supposed to be Christmas shopping and got distracted. I don't know why I spent so much money on this. I don't know why I fell for that scam, but I mean, it was worth it because I do wear this all the time and it matches this pair of earrings that I've got so perfectly. So you know what? No regrets, but also just a random purchase. And then for Christmas, I got this bag. I mean, I got it for Christmas, but I did pick it out myself because I was just like looking at the Ragged Priest sale and this was literally like 50% off. So it was only 15 pounds instead of 30. And then while I was in Benny Dom, I also got these sunglasses. That's so freaking cool. They're just these like rectangle orange sunglasses and they're just dope and make you feel like you could like beat someone up. Not physically, like verbally, like you could intimidate someone with these. Everyone is scared of me at uni, by the way, like complete sidetrack, but like everyone keeps telling me at uni that they're scared of me and like intimidated by me. So I kind of love that. Never really used to understand why, but like as soon as I put on these glasses, it's like, I get it. And they were literally like five euros. Don't know what the shop's called. So good luck finding them. So that is everything I got. And I am gonna go and plan a bunch of outfits for uni. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.